Oh, come on. Ah, does he have something more to say? You have some time to talk now, Commander. Let's hear it, Lieutenant. I'm always open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Uh, it's a personal observation, Caden. I, uh, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a, uh, if I have misread your interests. Uh... Someone? You're referring to our young Prothean expert. <laughs> I think she's older than both of us put together. Uh, yeah. There's a lower deck rumor that she's, uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady. To my, uh, tastes, but, uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. You seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. And I like being around you, but I, I don't want to take up your personal time. Uh... God damn it. Look, you didn't want to talk about Liara, did you? What's your real issue? You're right, sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. <laughs> you know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when they just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Uzo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. Introduce himself, he liked to say. I was at the hell with the dreadnought that killed your father. Well, I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Uh... So you think you have leave to talk like we're more than officers? I got some signals. Maybe some static, too, I guess. If I'm out of line, just say the word. Oh, God. I have been a bitch to him, but uh, I'm not interested in him. Sorry, Caden. This was just a battlefield thing. 
There's my answer now. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Commander. I got some mixed signals. With your permission, I should return to my duties. Hey, level up. Good. Level 23. Uh, yeah. Here we go. And... Lift. So... Let's talk to Liava then. See what she has to say. Ah, uh, no, she doesn't have to say anymore. Dr. Chuck was, I mean. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survived shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. You want a relationship with me? Even though we're both women? We Asari are monogendered, Commander. Male and female do not have any real meaning for us. We do, however, have maternal instincts. So perhaps we would fill what you consider a female role. I'm sorry if this is awkward for you, Shepard. I am only trying to be honest. I feel as if we share some type of connection. But none of this matters if you are already involved in a serious relationship with Lieutenant Elenko. The Lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? No. You were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You... I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. Okay, there's nothing else to talk about now. You should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Yes. My shepherd is dating Liara.
because it's kind of more fun. the bridge finally uh, stop trying to load it and load it uh yeah why not where is it Kepler Verge oh, sure. <coughs> okay My spouse and I have been out <coughs> yesterday to see Matrix in live concert. Meaning we saw the film in English. And an orchestra played um, the music, Kepler Verge. It was really, really great. Uh, Herschel. Yes. I do like Matrix a lot. Actually, one of my favorite films. Uh, let's see, start here. Nothing. Huh? Rocky asteroid. Survey heavy metal. Good. Ah, oh, there's the ship. Okay. Come on, let there be more to survey. Yeah, and especially the orchestra did a really, really great job. Last year they did, they did the same thing with Lord of the Rings, but we didn't see that, unfortunately. Fidelis and uh, Nolun, what is Nolun class? Okay. Human design in addition to the standard cargo bay, there are several biological research models attached. Ah. Okay. A research ship. Figures. Gareth and I need some biotic power. Yes, yes, let's go. Well, don't tell me my game just crashed. Oh, thank God. No, it didn't. Uh, three points. Could you possibly need? Yeah, I'll get a little bit more lift and get us three points. What do you need? Uh, get some more electronics. Save it. Okay. Oh, not against the door. Here. Uh sense trouble. Uh-huh. Come to us. Marksman now. Hey, I forgot about that. Good. It's over now. One 
wonderful. The singularity was one of the reasons why I played as adept once. I think I would have taken singularity as bonus power. Okay, there's nothing else, right? Uh, let's start here. Nothing. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Uh... We'll take him in, drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Samari. You owe the commander your life. Oh. Thank you so very much. Take him out! Yes, and now you die anyway. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Salian's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange. Who has orange blood? And more than a few dark red. Ah, oh, That's gross. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Nah, not really. Ah, uh, let's try it. Got it. And let's try it again. I really need Omni Chill. Oh, come on. <sighs> Never mind. Use it. Nothing good. Not against. It's over, Shepard. No need to fight anymore. Come on. <sighs> really? Uh, wait a second. I only kill the rest. Okay, here we go. I'm too lazy. Um, to, what do you say, reload? Biotic amp, is there anything better? <sighs> no. Yes! Good, Liara? stuff. So let's see what's behind door number three. Oh, there's no door number three. That's disappointing. And nothing here, right? No.
Yes, I do like the mini games in Mass Effect 2 better than this one. Because I don't have the patience for um, going through. Okay, nothing here. Let's go. Garrus's quest is done. Yes, leave. Lot, lot of assignments still, unusual reading, strange transmission, hostile takeover, that's a big one. And servers, I think that's a big one too. So I think it's a good place to end it here because I've been playing for quite some time now. So hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.